So, Kati is pregnant. I found out that my wife is pregnant with our first kid, and I just wanted to make this video to just share what's going on in my mind so far. Since I found out that Kati is pregnant, there are three things that I have asked myself intentionally for anyone who is married and hasn't had their first kid yet, or if you're a dude and you're married and you just found out that your wife's pregnant with your first, I think that this video could help. These three questions that I ask myself cause me to be more driven uh, in the areas that I feel that I need to be. First question is, am I the man that I would want to take care of my wife and child? In other words, to explain that is, if I died tomorrow and I had to leave someone to be taking care of, my wife and my kid, what standards would I have for that person and what character would they need to have for me to be okay with that? And am I applying those same standards to myself? I think that this question is super powerful for me to ask myself because it causes me to step outside my own world and lens and it causes me to think more about what I want for my wife, what I want for my kid and less about how do I want to live? Immediately things came to mind, you know, just how does my day-to-day -day look? Am I consistent with my schedule? Am I consistent with taking care of myself, um, being healthy? Am I progressing in all these areas? Am I taking financial responsibility? Am I taking responsibility for where we are? Or am I making excuses for where we are? Um, all of that kind of line of thinking uh, was brought up with this question. The short answer is no. I am not applying the standard that I would have on that person to myself, but now I am, and things immediately change. Taking responsibility for my health is one thing, and I'll make another video about that, but been eating really healthy for like the last 40 days, been exercising consistently, and I've been feeling way better. Another thing's financial responsibility. I decided that if I was applying that standard that I'd have on someone else to take care of my wife and kid, they would make decisions now that would financially set the family up for the future and to bring the kid into the world. Um, so I've taken steps very consistently towards that as well. Question number two is, what world do I want to create for my child to grow up in? I believe that the world that you grow up in is almost 100% up to your parents. Obviously, there's exceptions to that. If you break it down, I think there's three things that we can affect that will largely impact our kid. Where we live, our finances, and then the worldview that we instill onto our kid. So where we live, we're going to be living around family, uh, on Katya's parents' property. We're gonna be building a house on their property uh, this year. We want the kid to be around family. Um, we wanna be around family for the first few years of the kid's life. And so I think living on their property, they own like 50 acres, will be a really good setting for the kid to grow up in, having land. That's where we're gonna live. Uh, financially, this is a big one. I believe that God is our number one provider and that we trust him over everything and that he wants to provide for us and he has done that. But at the same time, I believe he's given me these gifts and abilities to help people and to help businesses. And so that is very important to me. And I want our kid to not be lacking in any way. Um, I want to give them experiences that require a good amount of money. What I grew up in, we did not have money for most of my life growing up. When we did have money, uh, my dad was saving it and he was being frugal um, so that they could be in a better position. And I'm actually very grateful to have not grown up with a lot of money. I believe that it's given me a worldview to appreciate everything a lot and to be grateful for anything that we have. With that being said, uh, I want to keep that in mind for when we're raising our kid. I don't want them to feel like they can have whatever they want and that we have a ton of money. I want them to experience what it is like to 
need something and for that thing to be provided for us, I want them to be very grateful for what we have. So I don't want to give them this lifestyle that makes them feel like a trust fund kid. I want to be with my kids when they're growing up. I'm not gonna be working a nine to five. I've settled on that. I don't believe that I'm supposed to be uh, gone all day every day just to put food on the table and our kids will not go to public school um, until high school if they are ready or if that is something that they feel that they're supposed to do. So that's number two. And then third, obviously being worldview. Two people can grow up in the same place and if they have different worldviews, then they didn't really grow up in the same place because how you view the world uh, determines what world you grow up in, um, in a way. In that if I only see the negative in everything, I might have all the same things happen to me as someone else who sees the positive and looks for opportunity and that person, their world will literally look completely different over time than mine because of our worldview. So that's very important to me. I want them to have a truth-based worldview and a Christian worldview um, because I believe that Jesus is the truth. I want them to have a worldview that serves them and that builds them up and I don't want them to have a worldview that keeps them uh, stuck where they are and makes them feel like a victim. That is the second question. What world do I want to create for them? The third question and the final question that I asked myself since I found out that Kati is pregnant is how do I want to parent this child? And worldview kind of starts to bleed into that. I want to parent my kid with the most grace that I possibly can and I want them to understand the reality of actions and consequences. And I want them to understand the reality of mercy. It's something that my wife and I still are talking about a lot. I want my kids to feel that they don't need to do anything to earn anything from us, but I want them to be grounded in truth. And I want what motivates them to be selflessness and truth because I believe it's possible. There's a lot of people uh, that do not believe that there's anyone out there uh, that isn't selfish. And I don't believe that. I believe we can be selfless and I believe that that is the highest mindset that we can live from. So I ask myself these three questions. First, am I putting the standards on myself that I would have on someone else if I had them raising my kid and taking care of my wife. Second is what world do I want my kid to grow up in? And third, how do I parent this kid? I will take you along as this journey of being a dad, being a husband, being a Christian man, uh, being in business. And I will record the journey for our kids, for us to look at in the future, and for anyone else who's in a similar position. Yeah, I don't expect it to be easy. Our kids could be hoodlums, um, but we will do everything in our power to ensure that they have everything that they need to be who they were created to be. And it's gonna be really exciting. And when I found out Katya was pregnant, I was in shock for a long time and it has been a few months since I found out or a couple months since I found out and I am just now able to process and understand that a kid is coming and I know what I need to do <laughs> to get ready for that. So if this video has uh, been valuable and has served you in any way, I would love it if you leave a like. If you really loved it, subscribe.